Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video we are diving deep into the world of WordPress gallery plugins. If you are a website owner looking to showcase your images in style, you are in the right place. We have narrowed down the top 5 best gallery plugins for your WordPress website. So let's without further ado, start the video. So the first plugin that we are going to look for together is Photo Gallery by Ice Pro, and we're already on the demo of uh, Photo Gallery. With the help of this plugin, you can create unlimited galleries and also include in them unlimited images. Now let's scroll down here and you can see different options that we have here. Uh, let's look through some of this, for example, this one. And also here, I want to mention that with the help of pro version of this plugin, you can choose how you want your um, gallery shown up on your website. Now let's uh, see the examples. Here are they. So great. Now let's go to the dashboard to see what we have here. So I have already downloaded the plugin and here just by clicking on add new you can create a new gallery uh, as you can see and here also we have several tabs so let's go look through them and to see what we can do with them. So the first tab that we have here is images and here you can see that we have gallery title, gallery descri description so it's very logical we need to set the title and description. Here you can add images and also set the image title, image alt, image description and give a URL. So this is it. Let's go to the next uh, section. It is settings. What we can do here, you can here filter your gallery by categories. You can uh, also here we have redirect URL. You can specify the opening method of the image URLs. Uh, here we have to show gallery head so you can enable it to show uh, whether to show the title and description of the gallery or not you can see that here i choose like show gallery title you can control thumbnail size image order uh, image loading you can choose whether you want global loading or lazy loading as you can see you can enable show title on thumbnail uh, disable light box and what we have here also we have you use retl direction so uh, by enabling right to left uh, direction for the text uh, you will be able to use also arabic languages here and one of the imp uh, important things that we have here is pagination so you will be able to choose the way of the uh, pagination but by default it is stated like none but here we have also simple and load more so you can choose whatever you want and also here you can change the offer of the current gallery then here we have this style section so here you can choose the gallery view type you can see that we have like various mm, ways various options here for example grid mosaic masonry so you can choose whatever you want you can control image hoover effect image hoover animation here we have gallery image position and also you can change image hoover color if you want uh, we have also loader style so here we have various options and you can choose from them whatever you want whatever you want we have image hoover icon so these are the options the icon and we have gallery title text color so you can change the color you can change the gallery description text color background color of the gallery thumbnail title and here we have custom class so custom html class for gallery container we have you can use your class for adding your custom styles for gallery container and here we have the custom css so here you can add your custom css then the next tab is lightbox settings here we have different features and by enabling and disabling them you will have various opportunities so let's look through them we have images counter so by enabling this option you can show the question counter while sliding the images then we have the show caption uh, light box so by enabling this one you can display the image ca caption in the light box uh, we have image slideshow you can enable it and also uh, control the slide duration you can choose filter for light box here you can see that we have a great feature for example all share button so by enabling this you can display the share button on your images and also we have different buttons type here for example facebook button twitter button pinterest button so it's very interesting 
uh, you can make your button to be full screen you can control the image actual size button uh, you can set the download button so by enabling this you can allow your users to download the images from your gallery also here we have mouse wheel by enabling this option you will allow your users to slide through images with a mouse scroll then we have the allow thumbnails button and, and by enabling this you can display a snippet bar of the gal gallery while scrolling so here we can see the configurations of it and also one of the uh, interesting features that we have here is allow key control so by in e enabling this option you can allow your users to navigate through images via key control the next one the next tab that we have is lightbox effects here you can set transitions between your images, you can set animations, you can control the transition speed and uh, also you can choose a background color of the lightbox overlay or just choose an image for it. So this was about Photo Gallery by Ice Pro. So the second gallery plugin that we're going to talk about is Robo Gallery. And I'm already on the website of it. Uh, it's a perfect combination of simplicity functionality. And here you can see the options that we have for Robo Gallery. So with this, you can create amazing galleries with amazing images. For example, this one. So we have, uh, this is the masonry style, as you can see. Also here we have the features to feed and uh, also the pricing plans as you can see now let's go to the dashboard to explore the features that we have with this one i have already downloaded it and uh, i wanted to create a new gallery i clicked on add new button here you can see that you, you need to uh, give a title and also you need to choose gallery type we have various types here i choose the grid type for example and uh, for example clicking on add images you can here see the uh, gallery types we have grid masonry mosaic polaroid youtube slider and etc and we have also premium gallery types you need to upgrade your plan to the premium to have this so as i chose the uh, grid type let's explore this one here you can manage your images so you can open images manage them and configure for example link tags and uh, for every gallery image then we have the cache section and by enabling this feature you can make your gallery work faster like in 10 times faster then we have the gallery size options here you can see that you can control the sizes of your gallery we have thumbs view option you can uh, for example here control your radius shadows v shadows blur set blur effect and etc we have hoover options so you can also here control the hoover uh, for example set the title show it or not show we have the link button you can uh, show it or not but we have uh, features more features but you need to upgrade your plan to uh, have it and also we have the zoom button here also you can control the eye Icon, font size, line height, and etc. We have the menu options, uh, but this feature will be available for you if you will upgrade your plan to premium. Then we have the loading options, as you know, in the previous one, we also had that. And you can set a lazy load if you want. You can set the images uh, amount, so it is stated like here 12. Yeah, but if you want more, you can load more amount. We have the Polaroid style options, but these options are only available on premium style, on premium uh, plan, sorry, as you can see. Then we have the lightbox options, so you can uh, control the text of your lightbox, text search, text color, the blinking, and etc. We have the custom fields, here you can add your custom fields, and they can be used to add extra metadata to posts that you can use in your theme. Uh, then here we have the discussion part, you can allow comments, you can allow trackbacks and pinkbacks. Uh, you can change here the offer and also add a custom CSS. So this was it about Robo Gallery. The next plugin that we are going to explore together is Invira Gallery. And we are already on the demo of Invira Gallery as you can see. Uh, by this plugin you can create an amazing galleries and here are the examples of uh, galleries that you can create. You can for example create albums demo, labels gallery demo, masonry gallery demo, videos demo. So these are the options for example we have instagram demo you can create instagram demo as well okay 
all we have here we have here also Andrea printing demo so these are these now let's go to the dashboard section to see what we have uh, I have already uploaded the plugin and clicked on add new to explore the features together guys so here as you can see you need to add a title as always uh, we have two uh, tabs here native Envira gallery so you can select files from your computer or select files from other sources and we have external gallery that's an amazing feature that's an interesting feature you can create dynamic galleries with Envira for example you can create galleries from your Instagram posts here okay that's great then we have the configurations here you can here uh, control the number of gallery columns for example here it did stated like automatically but you can change it to one two or three co uh, columns you can enable lazy loading we already know what is it uh, and you can also set a delay when you just are loaded it is lazy loading delay you can control the automatic layout and image sizes here and also crop images okay then we have the light box section so you can enable the light box and control again image size caption position from you can set the display of the light box images caption then we have the mobile section that's an interesting uh, feature so you can customize a unique mobile experience with mvr pro okay but uh, this feature is only um, for pro user so you need to upgrade your plan then we have the video section where you can um, add video to your galleries with Envira Pro from YouTube daily motion and etc then we have the social section so here you can share your photos your galleries on Facebook Twitter Pinterest that's an interesting feature then we have the text section so you can here tag your images for better organization gallery display but it's also only uh, available for pro users we have pagination again here and you can split your gallery in multiple pages to improve load time and here we have also miscellaneous settings here as you can see you need to give a title gallery gallery slack uh, add custom gallery classes and enable retl support so this was it about Envira gallery now we are going to talk about next gen gallery our next plugin and with the help of this plugin you can create amazing galleries and here let's see the examples of galleries that you can create you can create social sharing galleries hoover captions e-commerce galleries thumbnail galleries slideshow galleries and etc now let's go to the dashboard to explore the features that we have here i have already uploaded the plugin here i clicked on add gallery again and here you can see that you need to upload images for creating a new gallery and set a gallery title it's very easy i think and you can also drag image and zip files here uh, here you can also import your files from media library and also set a gallery title or you can import folders so uh, here here are the folders okay now let's go to the general settings to gallery settings to explore them what we have here the first tab that we have here is basic thumbnails here we have different features and by enabling or disabling them you can get very opportunities uh, for example you can over enable override thumbnail settings and uh, but uh, this does not affect existing thumbnails as you can see uh, we have images per page so you can uh, set the number of images on per page that you want we can enable ajax pagination and by enabling this you can browse images without preloading the page you can add hidden images enabling by this feature you can use image browser effect and control uh, show slideshow link uh, select also view and etc the next one is basic slideshow here you can control maximum dimensions also uh, enable autoplay pose on hoover you can show arrows and also control the transition style as you can see okay you can also select a few it is stated like legacy uh, here we have also you can enable e-commerce and proofing here but for that you need the pro version of the plugin to use these features then we have the basic image browser uh, we have already spoke about this enable ajax pagination and legacy then we have basic single ping p 
peak and you can here also control this thumbnail dimensions link uh, uh, choose link target float here we have none left right you can uh, set the image quality and you can enable this three features crop thumbnail display watermark and display reflection then we have the basic tag cloud and you can display type and the display type that the tag cloud will point it's here results okay here we have next gen basic thumbnails basic slideshows or basic image browser then we have the basic compact album and you can here display galleries as for example thumbnails as slideshows or image browsers and etc you can enable breadcrumbs and also override thumbnail settings again what we have here we have we have here also pro tile pro Mo mosaic and pro Masonry. so these features are only available on the pro version of the plugin so you need to upgrade your version to the premium to have these features and the last plugin that we are going to talk about today is modular gallery so let's see what features we have here what it offers to us here are the examples of galleries that we can create i think they're pretty good for example, here we have an animal section and here we have the gallery type. Okay, so these are the animals. Okay, that's great. Now let's go to the dashboard to see the features of it. You can cl click on add new and create a new uh, gallery. You need to set a title and uh, drag and drop files. You can drag and drop files to uh, create the uh, gallery. Now let's explore the settings section because it's the most interesting part. We have gallery type here, as you can see, you can choose the gallery ty uh, type, for example, creative gallery, custom grid, masonry, and the slider, but the slider is in pro version. Uh, you can uh, control the gutter and uh, use, you can use this slider to adjust the image space in your gallery. Now you can control the image sizes, height, and also shuffle images. So uh, by turning this on, your gallery shuffles with each page load. That's great. That's great. Then we have the light box and links. Uh, here you can control light box and links and choose how the gallery should behave on image clicking. And we have the navigation arrows. And by enabling this, you will display navigation arrow. And here we have more features that are available only on premium version. We have here filters and uh, to add filters also you need to upgrade your plan to pro. We have caption settings, you can hide the title, hide caption and also here we have configurations for captions. Then we have the social style uh, setting and uh, by enabling social bar uh, you will share or hovering the gallery thumbnail. And it is off by default as you can see we have the loading effects you can here set the loading effects and also explore more with uh, premium version we have the hover effects uh, here are the effects that we have got but these are premium except for these two then we have the video so you can add your to your gallery videos but it is on premium version here the styles you can control the styles for example the border size border radius uh, set shadow size shadow color and etc we have the speed up so you can uh, make your gallery work faster but it is only on premium version uh, so here we have the download it is also on premium version zoom uh, slideshow let's go to this this is interesting what it is pass protect you can uh, so you can protect your galleries with a password that's a great feature but you can use only on premium version this feature okay okay and you can add css as always as in the previous ones okay this was about modula gallery and there you have it our top 5 picks for the gallery plugins for your WordPress website. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.